How to read someone's code? Today I want to talk how you can read someone else's code and uh, do put in comment what you think how how you read someone's tip someone's code what are the tips for reading someone's code So first suppose you have taken over code from somebody and this is very very complex code there there are lot of code lines of code there are a lot of functions there are a lot of classes so it's a jungle code of jungle and you have to figure out what the code does because you have to make some changes to the code so first thing is uh, uh, that uh, you go to open the code and try to run the code i think running the code is very very important so because the code can have lot of classes it can add can have lot of hierarchies and it it may be using inheritance level on multiple levels i have seen uh, design patterns being used factory factory strategy all kind of patterns being used and uh, uh, interfaces every 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 layer has interface interface and uh, some 10 15 interfaces being used uh, like interface based programming being pushed to the limit and uh, there there's lot of interactions uh, over engineering the first thing is you run the code and you need to know the start point and end point just step through so that way you don't have to understand all the here the first thing you want to understand the flow of the applications so that way you don't have to go through all the hierarchies all the classes inheritance you just uh, read the real code and the real code must be just the 20% and the 80% is going to be the framework supporting that code so this this way like uh, i was given a very very complex code and uh, just because i was able to run the code and uh, it was a web api i was able to write a code and run it i i could understand the code very fast so uh, other other small tech the, i think the biggest way of learning the i have seen people doing design reading function by function figuring out the hierarchy and uh, uh, means uh, uh, to me uh, that sounds very very cumbersome i i will do that to just get a quick overview and then step through the code to understand the big big functionality and then write the unit test as that way web api I, i inherited i was able to write a unit test and execute the whole code understand the code and there there could be another tactic like uh, start uh, if you if you are uh, used to structured analysis uh, you can start it somewhere and, and uh, then see where these functions are being called and uh, start somewhere and keep uh, exploring other part of the codes and um, uh, it's it's very good idea to understand what are the tables this application is using and uh, you you can uh, what are the tables using what is the relationship with the tables that will help also help to you understand the application there was one particular case uh, there was a code very complicated code and uh, it it was uh, right uh, using temp tables from the sql server writing some creating temp table joining temp table where i uh, wrote some activity diagrams or flow charts to understand that complex code and that that was a pretty complex code and uh, after 10 15 years of 10 years of my experience i used the flow charts to understand the code so like uh, once you have experience it's easy to understand code but uh, for some time if some code is so complex you have to go to the old uh, your old old way of do, uh, understanding the code so if you like the video like it share it and subscribe to this channel for your regular updates thanks for watching